All right. Okay, so, so I want to share a quick anti Lushan Hara thought of the day. Today's Aliyah, we reveal the secret of why the Jewish people had to go down to Mitzrayim. So the Pasuk in Perek Bet, Pasuk Yudalit says that Moshe Rabbeinu is being, he confronts these Jews who are fighting each other. And they come back to him and say, who made you the boss over us? Are you going to kill us like you killed the Egyptian? Moshe. And Moshe was very fearful. And he says, Behold, the matter is known. So on a simple level, what's going on here is Moshe realizes that the regular people have found out that he has killed this Egyptian man, and therefore he's got to get out of here quick. But Rashi brings an amazing midrash. Rashi says, Vayira Moshe, what was Moshe really fearing? And there's two yuds. Daglo asharab Israel l'shaim daletorim. He saw that the Jews were gossip mongers. They were speaking Lashon Hara about each other. Amar me'ata shema inam ruin legel. Perhaps if they're speaking lush and hard about each other, if they're speaking badly about me, they're not worthy to be redeemed from Egypt. In other words, the reason why we wouldn't get out of Egypt is because we were speaking badly about each other. Comes the Kliyaka, the, the Rebbe in Prague in the 1600s. And he says like this, The reason why the Jewish people are still stuck in their badness more than all the other nations, speaking Lashonara is like worse than the three cardinal sins. It's equal to the three cardinal sins. It's actually Mufurish in the Gemara that Lashonara is like the three cardinal sins, and the Chavit Chaim talks about this in the beginning of the Sefer. The MS Eno Kench, but the truth is not true. The Jewish people were redeemed because they didn't speak badly about each other. Rak Shnaim Elu Ayu Balu Lashon Hara Upir Sama Katuv Dugmat Shlomit Bativri Shapur Sama Katuv. We find out about the people who spoke Lashon Hara about each other, like Shlomit Bativri, as brought in the Midrash by Rashi. And most of the people were not speaking badly about each other. And that's why in the end they were worthy of being redeemed. But just to put this all together, one more in, in the greater context, what brought us down to Egypt in the first place? It was Yosef's sin of speaking Lashon Hara about, about his brothers. And in fact, later when he accused them being Miraglim of speaking Lashon Hara uh, as Saftan Mehanech, he might be alluding again, are you, are you still looking at the negative side of things or are you looking at the positive side of things? Because the brothers were judging Yosef and therefore, and Yosef was judging them and it all started with speaking badly and that's why they went down to Egypt. And so Moshe is scared that they're still speaking badly about each other. But in the end, the Kliyakar says, Baruch Hashem, they were redeemed because they came together during their hard times and they didn't fall apart and speak badly about each other. And again, the idea is not that speaking Lashon Hara is as bad as killing, but that the, the, the essence of Lashon Hara, of looking with a negative eye upon your brother, that is exile. And that is why what causes hatred. And that's why sin and even if it's not one of the three cardinal sins, but it separates us from our, our, each other, which separates our souls from each other, and therefore we can't bring redemption. So beautiful uh, words of Chizuk, please, Hashem, we should have the strength to not speak Lash and Hara about each other, to look with loving eyes, to look from the Kuda Tova, and uh, in that way to merit our own personal redemption, which is seeing the good in each other, and uh, bring the Gula Shleim. I gotta go to my kitchen, Chef, and have a beautiful day in the Holy Land. Of Beit Chagai, Yerushalayim. Good almost Shabbos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little parsha, Lashon Hara thought of the week. And uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, let me know.